What's the likelihood of getting pregnant from pre-cum? Okay, I love this question because it's one of those reverse answers where I can say the answer is not zero likelihood, but I can't necessarily give you um, an exact percentage of likelihood, and here's why. Pre-cum, which is just fluid, and semen come from two different places in the, male, in, the, in the penis and genitalia area, and they join together during ejaculation. Why that's significant is that um, sometimes if there was another ejaculation before then, and there's residual sperm in the urethra, which is the tube to the outside um, where pee and, and semen go, and there's then pre-ejaculate after that with this, this next time, there might be sperm in it. Um, there have been a few studies on this, and some studies show no sperm, and some show some sperm in it. So when it comes to the worry of pregnancy, again, it can't be ruled out completely, but also the chances are really low because the other component to all of this is if we're talking about a female partner with a uterus and there's a risk for pregnancy, then it also depends on where they are in their cycle. So there are a lot of components to this as, as to whether or not this will actually lead to pregnancy. I do want to stress, though, even though the likelihood of pregnancy is quite low with pre-cum, there's a higher chance of being exposed to an STI with pre-cum. So if you're concerned about pre-cum in general, be very aware of who you're having sex with and what, what if you're, if you're fluid bonded or not. So if you've decided that you're going to share each other's fluids or if you've had testing done to kind of make sure that that's okay, these are all important things to consider. But in the realm of pregnancy, it's actually quite low.